Hello, it is Sherry, and it is, I don't know, 1045 at night, <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm getting a message from my spirit guides to um, do another card reading. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different, something I want to kind of um, work on in possibly making my video series um, based off of, and it's it's kind of like, you know, choosing which pile of cards um, that you feel drawn to, and I do three different readings. Um, and sometimes only one may resonate with you, sometimes two, and sometimes three. So this is just encouraging you to, you know, just take a moment, you know, close your eyes, tune in, and see which of these three crystals um, is calling you. And then that card reading um, is to be read and hopefully resonate with you. And like I said, it's okay to have more than one. Uh, sometimes um, our spirit guides uh, do have multiple messages um, to give to us. So um, I've got the three, I, I've, I've watched, you know, other videos of, of psychics and, and mediums doing car readings and they have beautiful like setups and camera, dual camera angles and, and uh, you know, beautiful flowers and candles and, and they, they can place a banner in the front of the video, you know, that, that shows like the crystals or the, or the piles of cards to pick from so that all you have to do is just, you know, look at the thumbnail on um, the video to give yourself a, a moment to, to kind of tune in. And then they've got the timestamp. So then you can go like directly to, you know, your card reading. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Um, I'm just kind of winging it by this flying by the seat of my pants and just doing whatever it is that I can figure out to do. Uh, I'm not technical. I'm very simple. Um, I don't mean like simple minded, but you know, just meaning that I don't have fancy getups and studio quality, you know, photography, recording, all that kind of stuff. So just me in, in my little room that used to be my, my uh, oldest son's room. And um, since he's, he's moved out, you know, I've, I've turned this space into kind of my own uh, like sacred space room. And um, so it's just me. <laughs> so I'm going to be very untechnical about this. And I'm just going to, you know, like show the crystals you know, on, the, on the screen and, and I'll, I'll give a few moments for you to decide, you know, which pile um, the card reading you want to listen to. And before I start, because I know a lot of people like on StreamYard stuff can do like little banners, you know, across the bottom, you know, that says what pile card or if you're doing zodiac readings, you know, which astro astrological sign you're working on. I don't have any of that. So I'm just going to be putting up my finger for part one. <laughs> And I'll, I'll kind of pause in between the readings and I'll, I'll, I'll do one and two and three. And that way, then you can just scroll um, or fast forward through the video until you see me hold my finger up. If you don't want to listen to the entire reading and you just want to listen to your specific uh, choice. So that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, I feel like this, I don't need to talk about this yet. This is a very heart centered um, reading, um, a very love filled reading. And I find it very um, uh, synchronistic, you know, that I had, when I was choosing the crystals and then choose the cards, then I felt like I needed to bring my um, crystal, my beautiful crystal bowl that my honey bought me for uh, Christmas, not this past year, but the year before. And uh, it's tuned to the heart, the note of C, which is good for the heart chakra. And then I was going to, um, you know, bless and kind of tie together in the reading with some light language at the end. Um, but I was being compelled to call it love language. Um, I mean, there, you know, it, it all comes from the same source. So there are lots of different names, you know, for light language, I've heard love language, soul language, um, you know, it, speaking in tums, tongues, um, glass, glossolalia, I'm probably mispronouncing that. And usually I just call it light language or um, language of light. And, but I was specifically um, told to say that this is love language. So it's definitely 
just a love fest going on now with this reading. Okay. such beautiful craftsmanship. I, I don't know how much the microphone is going to pick up, but it resonates for so long, you know, after I, I take the mallet off. And I don't know how the microphone is going to pick that up. Um, it does seem to, to be, I, I changed the settings on the Zoom microphone um, from the original and put it on, you know, more like pro, pro sound so that things like that, that have a very long high tone um, don't start getting like jittery and like cut off. Like the sound doesn't like to carry in like that long, smooth note. It just, it starts to get, the microphone starts to get confused or something and and makes it jittery or, or cuts it off. I notice that sometimes in some of the tones that bring through the light language, it does it that way as well. Uh, so I won't know what the sounds like until I do the playback. And I don't often do a playback before I post it because then I'm afraid I'll, um, I'll, I'll criticize you know, myself and they're like, no, I look like a total doof. I'm not putting that, posting that out there. <laughs> I can't give myself a chance to uh, chicken out and second guess myself and I just have to <laughs> post it. So if the sound quality is bad, yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure what to do about that. Okay, so let's get on to this card reading and these are the crystals so pile one is this beautiful i don't know how close i can get it before it goes out of focus it's a it's a i, I don't remember the exact name of it it's, it's either fairy crystal or fairy dust crystal because it is very sparkly um although i have low light in here um, so you can't really see the sparkles Fairy quartz, I'm, I'm not sure. So that's for pile one. The second crystal is for pile two. This is a Lemurian seed crystal. And again, I don't know how close I can get it to the camera without it like not focusing. Because I think it wants to focus on my face. <laughs> But this has in it, and again, and it's probably going to be hard for the camera to pick it up. But there are lines and glyphs, and you know the like the pieces that are inside. They all mean something. They they, they consider these to be um, message messenger uh, crystals. There are people that can tune in and read the glyphs and, and the lines and, and know what the, the different little clouds and puffs and wisps mean in the inside. And supposedly these crystals, when Lemuria sank, um, that part of the crystal technology for that civilization was buried and to be, you know, found, mined, and then people drawn to the crystals that these were meant for um, so that it would meet with people who would know how to work with them. It's a Marian seed crystal. It's really pretty. And it's really strong, loving Pleiadian uh, energy. All right, and three is what they call a healer quartz. And again, this is a messenger. It, it has the, the lines and the glyphs in it. I know this part right here is called a key. And there, its mate would be the crystal that grew with it um, that, that had the hole that formed over the key. 
and I, I wish I could get these a little closer to the camera, but it doesn't want to uh, focus. And this is a very gentle crystal. I love it. It has a very sweet, comforting energy to it. You know, and of course, like the first crystal, the fairies, I mean, they're the fairies, you know, it's a very joyous and sparkly, you know, um, light energy uh, feeling to it. Okay. All right, so I am using the Light Sears um, Tarot. I'm using the Laramond Tarot. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And then the, the piles of cards that have crystals on them. And then I'm ending with a, just a, um, a general message from a, um, an affirm affirmation deck of cards. So you just pull a card and it gives you a nice message to, to end the reading with. All right, I'm going to start this reading with, so this, oh, so this is, this is reading one. And again, this is with the fairy quartz. And I'm going to open this message with a major arcana card. Light Sears Tarot, and then there's going to be kind of a base of what this reading wants to tell me. I'm going to fan out the cards and just randomly pick the one I'm drawn to. And of course, this is the fairies. So, of course, we're going to pick the sun card. <laughs> you know, the sun card is, is um, you know, celebration. Um, you've done it. Congratulations. Everything is bright and beautiful. And um, that you know it's sun it's light and bright and fulfillment and happiness all right i'm gonna pick a minor arcana card and the leo mond uh, card to just give me something to carry this message through and give me some clarification and and extra messages Okay. All right. So this is actually letting me know that there are some, some okay, something that I, I think that there's, there's some idea, some feeling, uh, maybe re or you've recently met a new person, something that is igniting you, something that is lighting a, a spark and a passion in you. You're, you're, you're doing something new and different. You have this idea that's going to be very fulfilling for you, or it's a new relationship um, that, that's starting. And it, it doesn't always mean to be a love relationship. Um, you know, it could be a new friendship. It could be a partnership, uh, or it could be even, you know, renewed feelings, you know, in a relationship. Um, and you're being encouraged, you know, with the sun card, you know, to, to bring you the happiness and the fulfillment um, that that you are looking for in this great idea or this new relationship uh, or new emotion, um, you know, something that you've kind of discovered within, um, they're, they're telling you to go for it because we've got the seven of pentacles. So that means, you know, if you keep planting, you know, these ideas or you keep stepping out and making new friends, um, you know, if, if you're looking to, you have good ideas to uh, benefit your, your finances or, or your abundance, um, just start getting those ideas out there. Um, get those feelings out there. Um, take steps to, to bring whatever it is that you are, that, that this new thing, this new venture that you're going on, start planting the seeds um, because the seeds are going to be nurtured. You're getting okay from the universe, you know, that there's going to be something significant coming from that. And with this card, and it's so funny, I just have to point out that when I did um, some card readings with Greg Prescott and um, Allie, who's also Psychic Allie, um, for Greg's Patreon group, we did messages um, just looking to global uh, situations. 
And this card came up three times in those readings and it meant something different with, with each reading. And now this card is, is being brought up now. You know, this is a significant deck of cards that have been shuffled multiple times. <laughs> so I keep picking up this card. So what I'm getting from this is this, this is a universal message. This is carrying through um, in the collective. And, you know, you can see this as a compass. You can see this as a star. Um, you can see it as guidance. Um, you can see it as, as um, encouragement, you know, that there's so many branches and, and ways to, to go about this. Um, this also, uh, you probably don't, you probably won't be able to read it, but this also has all the astrological signs or, or and, and the, you know, the name like Cancer and Pisces and Aquarius. And so, you know, I'm feeling like another that's like a collective message, you know, everyone was born under, under a sign, you know, that this, this kind of go ahead, follow your intuition, follow your inner compass is, is being universal. It's affecting, it's affecting everyone right now. Okay. So then of course, the fairy quartz is on the fairy cards. So let's see what the fairies want to say. Oh, well, the card just like, just flipped out. Stargazing. It's, oh no, I do need my glasses. <laughs> These are Oracle cards. So they always, they have a little message on the bottom. And it, oh, pull up the card so you can see. Although I don't know if it's backwards. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. And I'm feeling like that, you know, situation is whatever, whatever this idea or venture or relationship you're starting. Um, you know, keep following, following your intuition. You know, you're you're making the right steps, you're planting the right seeds, and and you're just, you know give them a big go uh, from the universe. And so in this, you know, of course, since it being a fairy card, you know, the fairies are also asking you to connect with them. Um, we've got the moon energy coming in this card. And so I hope I'm getting this right. So full moons are when you, you get, that's, that's when you are, getting your ideas and stuff together and, and making stuff to go forward. Um, when it's the new moon, you're, re, you're, re, that's the release. Um, so you are letting go of those, the, those things that no longer serve you so that when the full moon comes in, then you're ready to take these steps, uh, forward, you know, with it, with a, with an energy, um, that's asking you to, to step forward to do things to fulfill and so yeah so this is letting you know that using the the moon energy um, will help you with this okay. and then so the parting message for this reading is the universe supports me in every way. Of course, of course we get this card because it absolutely does. No, can you read it? The print is so fine on this, it might not. It might not be readable on the screen, but that's what it says. It does say the universe supports me in every way. Of course, that was beautiful. All right. All right, fairy cards. Thank you. I'm very, thank you, fairy, sparkly fairy quartz. Okay. Shuffle my cards back in. Also, be clearing the energy from from the other reading. Oh, shuffle this too. Okay.
Okay. All right. On to two of the Lemurian quartz. Okay. Here the people who chose number two. What message do you have for them today? Again, I'm going with a major arcana card in the Light Seers deck to see where I need to start this from. The chariot. Okay. Interesting. That's movement, moving forward. Um, you know, this is saying that you you have choices to make and you know the choice that you make will um determine the how fast or how slow this movement will be going this direction that you're that you're going uh, it's choice all right so let me <clears throat> see what the minor are kind of cards and the and the linear more lamar the more cards other information that I want to get. Okay, wow. So for some of you, this is going to be actual like movement, traveling, moving. Okay. Um, all right, so with the chariot and then the page of wands and then this beautiful flying ship. Okay, and I'm being drawn to the three. So that's giving me um, possible time frames for when this could occur. So it could be three days, three weeks, three months. I don't think it's as far as three years. I think it's, it's three days, three weeks, or three months. Okay, so with the page of wands, so this is, you know, the, the whatever you are moving towards or, um, or if you're moving or vacation, um, whatever choices that you're making, you know, everything is, is within your reach um, and you're very excited about it. This is gonna be an exciting change um, that's gonna be occurring for you. And again, you know, this to me, is that's even possible like overseas uh, movement, either whether moving or vacationing. Um, oh, I'm also hearing like temporary work visas maybe for, for somebody. Okay, um, and this is coming in with the, with the Lemurian seed courts. It of course is in uh, this Lemurian, is it a Beyond Lemuria uh, deck. And there's some beautiful um, artwork with this deck. And the cards are in like three different sections. So I picked out the chakra cards. So let's see what message, what chakra message is coming through for this reading. So there's the, there's the artwork. And there's, I, I feel like there's, there's light language or coding in her cards. That's just the feeling I get from them. They're beautiful. Okay, and oh, so of course, so this is high heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. It says this card taps into the blissful oneness we feel as we drop our edges in protective containers. This is the place where we feel held and seen enough to flow into oneness where the eternal parts of me meets the eternal part of you. This is the selfless state where our higher selves commune for illuminating perspectives on how we share gift and lift others in our joyful overflow consider your life purpose by exploring what allows you to give in joy oh that's a beautiful card so yeah i mean there is definitely you're getting a good uh go from the universe um it's it is it's gonna whatever this movement is it's it's ecstatic it's, it's exciting um and then also Whenever we are in that ecstatic bliss and that um, high vibration, it rubs off on people. You know, it's a domino effect. So wherever you're going, you're carrying that bliss. You're gonna be, you're gonna be like, like a, um, like a match or a, a firework or a lighthouse. You know, where where you're going, 
your joy and bliss is going to rub off on people, you know, around you or these places that you're visiting, even the, the energy of, of these places where you're moving to, um, working in, vacationing in, you'll be leaving like a vibrational imprint. And it's just going to carry for, to the next person, you know, who seems to, to be in contact with you or, or stays in a place, you know, shortly after you were there. Um, yeah, and it's, and, and again, and that's going to kind of that energy that you're going to be carrying through that, that moving forward in joy and flow um, and bliss and, and making these choices that are the best for you, that bring you those things, um, that, that encourages the people that experience your vibration, you know, as you're going through carrying that vibration and they catch that vibration. Then again, when they get become, you know, into that high state of vibration, they're influencing the people that they come in contact with. So, you know, it's beautiful, you know, how the spirit of joy and happiness and the high light vibration um, works. And, you know, I know a lot of people kind of struggle with, well, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? You know, um, you know, if people feel like they've got to be a, a guru or, or an expert card reading or, um, you know, a person that, that holds UFO conferences, you know, that you have to do this big grand thing in order to make a difference um, in raising this vibration of the new 5D earth frequency. And that's not the case. Most of us just have to be, you know, blissful and content in joy, in peace. And that influences the people that we come in contact with. And again, it's, it's just kind of like that, that lighting, lightning, you know, a uh, um, match, you know, striking the next match, uh, you know, one lighthouse, you know, sounding the signal and the other light, lighthouses, you know, pick up on them. So it was beautiful. Okay, finish off this reading with a little like, affirmation. And this is, I am becoming a better version of myself every day. Yep. And again, you know, when you stay in those high states of vibration, you know, do the things that, that bring you the joy, the oneness, the unity, the peace. Yeah, it's beautiful. Aww, okay. All right. Shuffle on up the energy of that second reading. Thank you, beautiful Lemurian. Marian uh, cards. That's Pleiadian energy as well. Okay, so now we are on reading number three. All right, so what is the message? Those who chose. Number three. Yeah. Major Arcana card from the Light Sears deck. Give me a place to, to start. All right, we've got the Fool. So this is the universe encouraging you to take a leap of faith. Just just put that first forward, the first foot forward, and yeah, you know, the universe has got you. Just take a leap of faith. Minor arcana card. Oh, well, everything always happens for a reason. <laughs> um, I shuffled the previous um, 
major arcana card into the minor arcana cards. So this card reading actually, or this card actually came out for reading number two is the first card, but there was a reason that I misplaced it and it's coming up now in this reading, you know, even after shuffling. Okay, so I'm still gonna pick the, a minor arcana card to, <clears throat> to give me a little bit more clarity. It's very interesting. Everything is always like, you know, happy accidents, you know, beautiful synchronicities. Leonamard card. Okay. All right. So we've got the fool now, now with the chariot. So it is definitely, you need to move forward in something. And the universe is asking you to take that leap of faith that you're making the right decision you're you're you'll be making the right step uh in the right direction um it's all ready to go only you were holding yourself back so take a leap of faith that it's going to work um uh, in a positive way and, and for your best and highest good so the next card that i got with the knight of swords is letting me know that um this is kind of the energy it doesn't necessarily mean um that you have to be capricorn um it could be somebody you know that this reading will kind of revolve around who's capricorn um or you might be capricorn or it's just the the general capricorn energy uh you know maybe asking you to um do something a little outside of of your comfort zone because that's what this card reads as is somebody who thinks out of the box you know, somebody who's ahead of the game, not, not afraid to take chances. Oh, so tapping into that energy. If, you, if you're not already a, a Capricorn, to tap into a little bit of that, that Capricorn energy of having faith and taking that step forward, you know, there, there's a strong, strong energy that you can tap into to, to help bring that forward. Um, so then I... So this is the next card that came in. And so again, you know, with this, whatever it is, the choice that you're making, as we have the black and the white, you know, here there seems to be like two different types of bridges. Um, follow your intuition. Um, I have a feeling that something in the next card um, will give a little bit more clarification. So, so the, the healer courts, and then these beautiful, beautiful cards called Enchanted Blossoms. Love this deck so much. And I haven't worked it with it in a while. So that's why I love doing these, um, you know, Oracle cards with the tarot cards. And I always pick the Oracle cards based on the energy of the reading I'm going to be doing. So it's, it's, it's very specific. And I have dozens and dozens and dozens, dozens of Oracle cards. So when, when I pick something, you know, it's definitely very meant for that particular reading. protection okay and this is coming from the the eucalyptus plant and with the monarch butterfly now i hope this picks up in camera because this is what's so magical about this deck so when we quick look at it you see a butterfly because you see the monarch butterfly but no look closer let's see maybe if i come closer it'll stay in focus do you see that it's a dragon the dragon butterflies. I call them dragon flutters. <laughs> I, you know, this the woman who creates these. She she studied botany, but then she also has this beautiful creative mind and and a talent in painting. And uh, yeah, you know, and these are all you know drawings or or paintings that that she did. And for her to to come up with this idea, this magical. Uh, fairy tale, you know, type of idea of a but butterfly with a dragon. And I just, you're beautiful, I love them. Yeah, I don't know if I can, or maybe if I do this, I do this, we'll focus the cards, you can see. No, it's not really coming into focus, I'm sorry. I wish you could see that better, but they're beautiful. 
Okay, so so is that something that you're a little bit worried about? Um, you know, in taking this this uh, leap of faith, um, do you need to call in some like protective energies again, like following your intuition? Um, Ah, okay, the message I'm getting, you know, and this is a general message, um, but sometimes I get a little bit more specific information that, that might apply to a certain person or, or a smaller uh, portion of the person that it was choosing this, this card. Is, is there something going on here? Do you feel like um, this idea or, or plan that you have, um, do you, do, are you feeling like someone is looking over you, you know, maybe either trying to dissuade you or um, discourage you, um, or you might be afraid that somebody might, you know, like steal this idea or steal this plan if, if you were to talk about it out loud. So that's just something to consider. And if, and if that's the case, um, you know, bringing in, um, okay, because of, of, of the way that this card is, um, bringing in like a dragon energy uh for protection or just even i mean i'm sure you know these little they, they may look um innocent but but they they would be strong you know if if they need to you know they've got the the beautiful um like metamorphosis type of transformation energy with the butterfly but then they still got you know the fierceness and and protective energies of a dragon so I mean, it might even just be this being in itself that you would be able to, to connect with, to visualize, um, you know, bring in its energy um, in a protective way. Um, so that, you know, that's really what, what this is about is just you're having faith. But if there's something that you're feeling like that is, that is holding you back, call in your spirit guides or, you know, seek the advice of an expert, you know, somebody that you trust um and you know just trust that that the outcome is, is going to be positive it's going to work out you know the universe is is just waiting for you and you're going to be going forward and you're not going to like you, you know you're just doing it you know <clears throat> it, it might be unconventional you know but you're doing it anyway it's, you know, and you're, you're trusting your, your energy and just know that the universe, you know, is, is protecting you in this venture. Um, but if you need, you know, feel like you need a little bit more, just call in something personal, you know, for you, like I said, whether it's talking to a, a real person or, or, you know, meditating or connecting, you know, with your, with your spirit guides. Okay. So let's see what the final, final affirmation is. My, it says, my body is a wondrous and magnificent machine, and I feel privileged to live in it. So again, ah, okay, so I'm feeling the, the invitation to use the moon energy as well. Um, you know, the, the full moon is, is um, bringing in, and the new moon is, is releasing. And so if if you need to, to call into the universe, you know, ask, ask, you know, trust that they're telling you that, that you can release and, and let go. And, you know, and then you're going to be bringing in um, this, this wonderful new adventure or idea or relationship, uh, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. <clears throat> and, and this is just also a reminder um, that, you know, we are much more powerful than we've been led to believe and the powers of our mind our body our emotions are incredible and you know we're being asked to move into those energies to become comfortable with them acclimated um you know accepting the impossible is possible and that's, that's what a lot of this, you know, transformation, you know, type of energy is, is asking us to believe 
that we have these powers of manifestation, that we have these powers of communication, we have these powers of protection. Yeah, we do. We are wondrous and magnificent uh, beings and we are living in a wonderful and magnificent uh, time. <clears throat> now, I told you this was, was all full of love, <laughs> this message. Okay, um, I'm just gonna quickly put these cards away to clear away the energy. I'm probably gonna have to go back through my minor arcana, or no, the major arcana cards and see if I stuck a minor arcana card in there since I put the major arcana card in the uh, <clears throat> minor arcana cards. Okay. Oh, and this is the card that was on, on the top or, you know, like on the bottom, but I turned the cards over. And so th again, this is just loving, nurturing, um, energies right now, you know, working, our, our earth loves us, our, our, our universe loves us, <laughs> our divine father loves us, our divine mother loves us, we are nurtured and loved um, beyond what we have numbers and statistics for. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a little bit of light language to just seal this love. <laughs> As mono get in the end, and you know, the two to do 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 to a to a to a to no a no a no do 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a beautiful feeling. And thank you so much to all of you for, for coming in and joining me. Um, you know, I'm so glad to, to finally, for the first time, like done this different style of readings and doing multiple readings. And uh, let me know, you know, what you think. Was, did this seem to, to work out, you know, with a, the, having the piles to, to choose from? Um, did you enjoy that? Did they give you uh, a little bit more, uh, a, a bigger sense of it being a little bit more targeted, you know, towards towards you? Um, so let me know. Let me know in the comments. Um, and if it seems to be helping and, and my audience likes it, because that's what I'm doing these readings for. I'm doing them for you. Um, so I want to be able to reach you in the best way possible. So let me know in the comments below, please. And if you haven't already, like, like and subscribe, and share this reading to any of your friends or family that you think uh, might uh, resonate with this message. And, uh, and yeah, I guess that's it. I'm done. Now I need to go to bed because it's like 1130 at night. <laughs> Thank you again so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. I love being able to, to help and, and bring this love and these messages and this light to you. Okay, until next time. Mwah. Bye. Light and love.